My name is Chloe Van Rijn. I became a model when I moved to Denver, Colorado. I met this lady through Facebook, I think. I found her on this group site. I just reached out to her and I said, hey, I'd really like to work for you because she started creating this modeling page and she wanted to start her own like workshop, runway workshops. She already knew so many different photographers that she kind of just helped me that's how I got into it. She taught me how to runway walk, and that's how I started getting into it. You have to be dedicated to it, and you have to push yourself, because it's not easy. And if you're not open to people, then you're not going to get anywhere. Like, you actually have to go out there and do it yourself, because no one's going to do it for you. You can't just take selfies and expect someone to be like, hey, I want you to be a model. That's like a one in a million chance. If you actually want to do it, you got to go out there, go to castings, go on websites, you know, everything. I mean, you got to be safe about it. My name is Mia. I am 26 years old. I am a model, actress, server, uh, <laughs> TV personality, uh, just a little bit of everything. Modeling specifically, I've been doing it for about four years. My favorite thing about it is mainly the people that I get to meet, the creativity that I get to expose. I really enjoy the different types of shoots that I've done. The main opportunity that it's given me is uh, the ability to market myself, but it's now, it definitely has opened up to just about anybody who has a nice camera and a pretty face. And I don't think that's bad. I think that's, that's the way beauty should be captured because for a long time, the way that women were objects of uh, sexuality towards the public was really just making women feel like they had to look a certain way, be a certain way, like they weren't good enough to be that number one. And the fact that we were able to open up those doors of opportunity to anybody who uh, would like to be in front of a camera, it just, we need more confidence in our society, period. A lot of people grew up with the idea that they can't do what they want to do or be who they want to be. Um, and a lot of those people in the in entertainment industry specifically as well, is, it's about time that they develop that confidence and sometimes all it takes is just I know that after I did my boudoir shoot I was more than confident to be in front of the camera with anything and anyone that I knew was going to be professional enough to do. My name is Andrew Karn. I'm a photographer here in Fort Wayne. I've been doing it for about two and a half years ever since I started taking a photojournalism class at IPFW. I really only took it as an excuse to buy a good camera. Once I did a few of the assignments I actually kind of got hooked on the concept of taking pictures of people in a more natural, raw state that photojournalism allows you to do. My favorite thing about working with models or doing photography in general in the journalism sense is meeting new people because you're constantly doing that. And when I first got into photojournalism, there was an account that I followed that a lot of people know. It's called Humans of New York, where basically this journalist went around taking pictures of people on the street and then he would ask them about their lives, and then kind of tell their story through pictures. A lot of people will look at photos of people, and then you can't really, you don't, you don't really know anything about them. It's just like, oh, that's a nice photo. But when you have the writing to go with the story, or when you're the person that has interviewed them yourself, you get to learn a lot more about people. So not only do you have this great image of someone, but you have a story to go behind it. And it doesn't even always have to be about what's going on in the picture because if you're just telling the person's story it lets you look a little bit more into the person themselves or kind of like their soul 